Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings on this rather chilly day. Today I would like to talk to you again about Edu, that French whiskey. And you'll remember that I talked to you this summer about the Edu Brosseliande, which Brosseliande was the forest where you can find the grave of Merlin. And I remember telling you this summer that it was a uh, French grain whiskey, in fact, because it was uh, created using buckwheat, Blain Noir buckwheat. So I called it a single grain. And then one of your viewers, Pete Walsh, actually uh, reached out to me and he said, Mark, I don't think that buckwheat is actually a grain. In fact, I think that buckwheat is a seed. I was like, what? Let me call my friend, Mr. Gull, because uh, Mr. Gull knows quite a bit. So I called Mr. Gull. Oh, I don't call him Mr. Gull because we're, we're on first name basis. So I said, Goo, Goo, Google, tell me a little more about uh, buckwheat. And he said, well, I'm not very knowledgeable about buckwheat, but I know this girl. She knows everything about buckwheat, Miss Pedia. And I said, oh, you mean Wiki. So I got in touch with Wikipedia. And Pete Walsh, you are absolutely right. Buckwheat is not a grain. It is, in fact, a seed. It is a plant that is cultivated for its seeds, the buckwheat seeds, and then those seeds are treated in the very same way that one would actually uh, um, treat grain to produce a whiskey. So is this then a French seed whiskey? Is that a whole new category? Uh, it remains a grain whiskey, unfortunately, uh, or maybe not unfortunately, why did I say that? It remains a grain whiskey, but in fact it is from blé pur noir, pur blé noir, I'm sorry, buckwheat, um, but there you have it. Now, this is not the Brosseliande, this is something else entirely, and this is rather quite exclusive because this is a single cask selected for Belgium. This is a single cask for our country, which was actually selected by the big cheese of the importer. Uh, Edu French whiskey is imported in Belgium by Sinoco. Now, their big cheese, the CEO, is Stéphane de Bolle, which I consider to be a friend not a friend that comes over for dinner, but a friend in a professional way. Uh, I, at least I consider us to be friends, Stefan, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but he actually traveled to the Destillerie de Menhir all the way to Brittany, Bretagne, en France. And he uh, got together with the people and, and they, they tasted some things and some samples. And all of a sudden, Stefan had tasted this single cask and he was flabbergasted. And it was quite unique. And he said, I want this. Please bottle this for Belgium. And the distillery de Menhir, they said, Ah oui, bien sûr, pourquoi pas? Et voilà, la série limitée, the limited edition of this Edu single cask for Belgium is here. Now, there's only uh, 476 bottles of this available. And this was distilled in January 2013. And it was bottled on the 1st of September 2021, making this an eight years old French single grain whiskey, especially for Belgium. But that's not what's as unique about this. What is unique is the fact that this spirit first started out maturing on a cognac cask. <gasps> a cognac cask. And then halfway through, after a couple of years, they said, well, this is evolving quite nicely, but we would like to give it a special twist. So let's recask it into a port cask. So it matured for a couple of months, weeks, months, years maybe, in a port cask. And then they said, and they were very open and transparent, they said, this is not going where we want it to go. Let's just put it back into the original cognac cask. So that's what makes this one unique. It started live in a cognac cask, was recast into a port cask, and then it was put back into the original uh, cognac cask and then bottled at a cask strength of, and now I have to, I have to look that up. It was 49.5% ABV. 49.5 wow wow I'm, i keep on rambling it's it's smart whiskey ramblings but i'm also quite excited because i think this is rather unique anyway onto the whiskey so a beautiful amber well that's more like copper instead of amber which is obviously the influence of both the cognac and the port casks and after eight years old here we have the edu selected for belgium on the nose It's a completely different critter than the Brosseliande that I spoke to you about earlier. And this is absolutely great. It's got these beautiful dark sweet notes of banana flambeed, some baked apples, there's a hint of marzipan there. But also completely in the background I get this, this salty edge. And then some grapefruit and a hint of red fruit as well. And those precede the herbs. This is quite herbal. The spices manifest themselves as cinnamon, 
paprika, I think you call them bell peppers, paprika? This is paprika powder, you know? There's even some oregano in there. This is quite special indeed. And I dare say, complex. Oh, bien fait, mes amis. Allez, on the palate. Oily, almost creamy, immediately a panoply of flavors, and it covers the whole spectrum. Well, bar umami, it's not, it's not meaty or anything like that, but it's got, it's got sweet, sweetness on, on red and dark fruit. It's got salty, salty, uh, maybe even something medicinal, in fact. And then a bitterness from the talons from the oak, something like chestnuts in there. It reminds me a bit of cough syrup, to be honest, but with a lot of wood smoke that gives it some depth. It's spicy too. It makes me happy. I quite like this. It's not, it's, it's because it's so unexpected. It's not something you are expecting. You, you know, when you're a Scotch whiskey lover, you, you, you can expect all kinds of things. And I've tasted over 5,000 and I, I've tasted some things, you know. But, but then you get this Edu. Never heard of it. Well, I have, you know that. But, and then you're like, oh my. Unexpected, complex, beautifully layered, mm, on fish. Wonderfully long, spicy, sweet. And then there's this slightly drying effect towards the end, probably from the, from the port cast, the wine influence. Ah, so satisfying. It's just what I needed to warm me up during this chilly day. Ooh, there's a lot of wind. It is chilly. My fingers are, but just, just my voice. Mm. The Edu 8 years old 2013 Cognac Port Cognac cask. A single cask exclusively for Belgium. And I've heard there's still a couple available. So if this is something you fancy, Allez, va le chercher, va l'acheter. You'll be happy. <laughs> my French is a little rusty. Anyway, that's all for this whiskey rambling. And I hope to see you at one of Mark's whiskey ramblings real soon. And until then, may the seed be with you. May the buckwheat be with you. May the war, whatever. Bye-bye.